Hello students, welcome to Well Explain. This is lecture number 3 from the chapter 3 Fiber to Fabric Class 7 Science. So students, in this lecture we are going to learn about the next animal fiber that is silk. Now first of all we will study about the characteristics of silk fiber. Students, I hope you all must have seen silk. Sabhi ne dekha hoga silk kaisa hota hai? Mama ki silk saadi, papa ka silk ka kurta. Have you all seen how it is? It is lustrous and soft. Lustrous means it is shiny. And it is very soft to touch. The second characteristic is it is a bad conductor of heat that is it does not allow the heat of your body to escape means or to pass the third characteristic is it is very elastic thus resists freezing resist freezing means after washing agar aap dekhe, to it does not wrinkles means sikurta nahi hai. The fourth characteristic is it is as strong as a steel wire of the same diameter. Silk fiber is the strongest of all the natural fibers. Jitne bhi natural fibers hai, cotton, jute, wool and many others are there. Silk is the strongest one. Aur kitna strong hota hai ki agar aap ek silk fiber lijiye aur ek steel ka wire lijiye of same diameter means of same thickness to dono ki jo strength hai it is same the next characteristic or the characteristic number 5 is it is resistant to dust resistant to dust means agar us pe dust aati bhi hai aap usko jhad dijiye aur wo saaf ho jayega and also it has a peculiar natural shine and it dyes well dyes well means you can dye it in any color of your choice now life cycle of a silk moth we get silk from silk worm and from where this silk worm comes from the eggs laid by the silk moth the various stages involved in the life cycle of silk moth are as follows number one is laying of eggs sabse pehle silk moth kya karte hai ande dete hai after mating the silk moth lays hundreds of eggs on the mulberry leaves these silk worm they feed on the mulberry leaves now the second stage is hatching into larva or caterpillar means when the eggs hatch what comes out worms and these worms are the silk worms they are also known as larva or caterpillars these silk worms they feed on mulberry leaves for three to four weeks and they shed their skin at least four times during this this feeding stage. When the mulberry leaves are eating, so they shed their skin for three to four weeks. Ke period mein, they shed their skin at least four times, and this process of shedding of their skin is known as molting. And with each mold, with each mold means once it sheds its skin, it leaves its skin, it grows in size. Then it feeds on mulberry leaves for another few days. Then again it sheds its skin and the caterpillar grows in size. And this process continues till four moltings or three to four weeks. Now the third stage is formation of cocoons. After the final molt, when the caterpillar grows in sufficient size, they cease to feed and grow into pupa. Means the final mold is fourth mold. Uske baad caterpillar, 
सफिशियंट साइज में ग्रो जाता है बड़ा हो जाता है तो वो खाना बंद कर देते हैं एंड दे ग्रो इनटू प्यूपा एंड दिस प्यूपेटिंग कैटरपिलर इट स्टार्ट सिक्रीटिंग अ थिन फिलामेंट लाइक सब्सटेंस फ्रॉम द सलाइवरी ग्लांस लोकेटेड ऑन ईदर साइड ऑफ इट्स हेड मींस उसका जो हेड होता है उसके दोनों तरफ से लाइवरी ग्लांस होते हैं उसमें से एक थिन फिलामेंट बेस्ड फाइबर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर निकलता जाता है सिक्रेट करते रहते हैं and this secretion this is made up of a protein which is known as fibroid this secretion from the salivary gland it also contains a protein known as sericin and what is the function of sericin it adheres the two filaments together means thin, thin filament is made up of protein called fibroid and there is one more protein called as sericin whose function is to एडहेयर मीन्स उनको चिपका देता है दो फिलामेंट को चिपका देता है कैटेपिलर स्विंग देर हैथ फ्रॉम साइड टू साइड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फिगर एट मीन्स दे स्विंग देर हैथ एंड दे फॉर्म अ फिगर ऑफ एट एंड दिस सिक्रेशन वेन इट कम्स आउट ऑफ द सलाइवरी ग्लैंड इट कम्स इन कॉन्टैक्ट विद एयर इट हार्ड इंस एंड दीज फिलामेंट स्टिक टूगेदर टू फॉर्म फाइबर Now, during this process of secretion of these fila filaments and the adhering of the pro these filaments together by the protein sericin, this eight, the figure eight formation, they all lead to the that the pupa is completely covered with these silk fibers. Means, is तरीके से पूरा जो pupa है, पूरा silk fibers से cover हो जाता है. and this covering means the silk fiber the pupa with the silk fiber this is known as cocoon now the fourth stage is emergence of silk moth inside the cocoon pupa develops into an adult moth you can see in this uh, life cycle of silk moth diagram the mating is there the male and female Silk moth. They are mating. After that, the female lays eggs. Then the hatching of eggs is there. When the eggs are hatched, what is there? Silk worm. They feed on the mulberry leaves. Then cocoon formation is there, and then there is emergence of a moth. Clear? Now coming to the next topic, that is sericulture. What is sericulture? Sericulture is the process of rearing of silk worms for the production of silk. This process includes both rearing and reeling of silk worms. Rearing means किस तरीके से हम silk worms को पालते हैं and reeling means किस तरीके से हम silk worm में से जो cocoon है उसमें से हम silk thread को निकालते हैं. So first of all coming to the rearing of silk worm. The rearing of silk worm includes the following steps. First of all, a female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs. We have learnt in life cycle of silk worm that are collected and placed on the strips of cotton or paper. सबसे पहले उन eggs को किसके पर रखा जाता है? Strips of cotton or paper. After that, the eggs are stored under optimal conditions of humidity. And temperature to facilitate hatching. The hatching of eggs means eggs में से जो silk worm निकलता है या larva निकलता है या caterpillar जो निकलता है, it is at a particular temperature. And these conditions, optimal conditions of humidity and temperature, they are maintained. When the eggs hatch, what comes out? Larva or silk worm? And these silk worms now which have come out. They are then placed on clean trays made up of bamboo, and these trays are supplied with freshly chopped mulberry leaves. Freshly chopped means जो बिल्कुल ताजा mulberry शैतूत की जो पत्तियाँ होती हैं उनको बारीक बारीक काटा हुआ होता है. Why? Because these silk worms they feed on the mulberry leaves, they eat the mulberry leaves, and they grow healthy. Now the third step is newspapers are spread over the trays. Now on the trays, freshly chopped mulberry leaves are there, silk worms are there, 
and now these trees they are covered with newspapers why these are covered with newspapers to absorb extra moisture from the leaves the trees should be cleaned after every few days and the silk worms are fed on the mulberry leaves for 20 to 35 days now after that the 25 to 30 uh, 20 to 35 days the silk worms are then moved to small chambers of bamboo trees to spin the cocoons after they stop eating and begin to pupate we have learned in life cycle of silk moths when the these uh, silk worms are strong enough means they have grown to uh, maturity then they stop feeding and they start spinning the cocoons after that, these trays are provided with racks of frames where the silk worms spin the cocoons. Spinning of cocoons takes about 3 to 7 days. This is all about the rearing of silk worms. Now the processing of silk. Once the cocoons are formed, what are cocoons? The pupa which are covered with silk fiber these are cocoons that means that pupa is living for taking out silk thread these cocoons are boiled or they are kept in sun so the first step in the process processing of silk from the cocoons is the boiling of cocoons for obtaining silk fibers a pile of cocoons are used they are kept in the sun or immersed in hot boiling water why do uh, they are kept in the hot boiling water or in the sun so that the pupa inside first of all the pupa inside it gets killed and second when it is boiled the silk fiber is separate out from the cocoons because the protein sericin that adheres the silk filaments together gets dissolved and this process is called as degumming this boiling of cocoons uh, remember reminds me of a story ki how this silk was discovered the silk was first discovered in china and the princess she was sitting under a mulberry tree with a cup of hot tea means jo rajkumari thi wo mulberry tree ke niche baithi hui thi apne garden mein aur unke haath mein kya tha ek garam garam chai ki Accidentally, what happened from the mulberry tree? A cocoon get dropped in that hot tea, and when it get dropped in that hot tea tree uh, tea, sorry, what happened that the silk thread or the fiber it separate out from the cocoon and from there it got discovered now the second uh, step is process of reeling now once the silk thread is separated from the cocoon the process of taking out the silk fibers or threads from the cocoons is called as reeling and this reeling is done by using special machines to unwind the thread or fibers of silk from the cocoons in special machines are used jisse ki jo thread hai or fiber hai wo cocoons mein se nikal liya jaye then the fibers from the cocoons they are joined unko joda jata hai then they are twisted together to make a strong thread that is wound around a reel and is pure process se jo fiber banta hai that is known as raw silk the third step is dyeing of raw silk dyeing means it is colored because natural silk is very dull in color means creamish or brownish or uh, means it is very uh, faded colors are there and we ha have seen silk in vibrant colors bahut chatak rango mein bhi humne silk dekha hai to wo silk naturally nahi hota hai ki magenta color ka hai ki blue color ka hai it is all dyed so depending on the requirement the raw silk fibers can be dyed in various colors and then spun into silk threads 
The silk threads are woven into silk cloth by weavers. India is the second largest producer of silk in the world after China. So who is the largest producer? China and the silk was discovered in China only. Malbani silk is the main variety of silk which is produced in India. Other varieties are also produced but the main variety is Mulberry silk. Now the types of silk fibers. Depending on the characteristics as well as the silk moth variety of or species of silk moth and the feed of that silk moth. The silk fibers are categorized into different types. The very first is mulberry silk as the name is suggesting the silk worm air must be feeding on mulberry leaves and this mulberry silk it comes from the silk worm known as bombyx morai. Bombyx morai is the scientific name of that mulberry silk worm. This bombyx morai feeds on the mulberry leaves and the silk fiber obtained from this silk worm is very soft, it is shiny, it is elastic and strong. The second variety of silk fiber is the tussar silk and it is obtained from the silk worm Antheria mylita which mainly grows on the food plants that is Arjun and Asan. Tussar is rough in texture. Whenever silk comes to our mind, that is lustrous and soft. But this silk, that is tussar silk, is actually rough in texture and it generally appears light brown in color. And this tussar silk is mostly used in furnishing and interior decoration items. Now the third type of silk fiber is oak tussar, which is a finer variety of tussar. Means tussar silk is the main variety and oak tussar is somewhat finer than the tussar silk. It is obtained from the silk form Antheria proeli J in India which feeds mainly on oak plants. As the name is suggesting oak tussar, so it feeds on oak plants. Mulberry silk feeds on mulberry leaves. Now the next variety of silk is Kosa silk. It is obtained from silk worms which feed on sal or saja or arjun trees. And this is a popular silk because of its luxury and soft texture. And this Kosa silk is famous or widely used in making traditional Indian saris. The next type of silk is the Muga silk. It is golden yellow in color and is obtained from the silk worm Antheria assaminesis. This, these silk worms mostly eat the leaves of the soalu and som plants. Now, as there were health hazards in the wool industry, there are health hazards in the silk industry also. So these are Number one, manual holding of cocoons may lead to blisters, peeled off skins and sometimes minor skin infections. We know during the processing of silk, the first step was the boiling of cocoons and if these boiling, these cocoons were, they were put in the boiling water. If you put it in the boiling water, manual holding means that you put it in the boiling water or put it in the water. तो आपके ब्लिस्टर्स मीन्स हाथ में छाले हो सकते हैं आपकी स्किन उखड़ सकती है एंड कभी कभी माइनर स्किन इन्फेक्शन भी हो सकते हैं द सेकेंड सेकेंड हेल्थ हजार्ड इज द यूज ऑफ केमिकल डाइज वी नो सिल्क इज द नेचुरल कलर ऑफ द सिल्क इज वेरी डल इट इज ऑल्सो डाइड और कलर्ड इन टू वेरियस कलर तो केमिकल डाइज मीन्स दीज डाइज आर Chemicals they may lead to irritation of eyes, jalan ho sakti hai. infection of skin means aapki skin infection ho sakta hai. lungs and breathing problems be ho sakti. Hai. Number three, inappropriate ventilation. 
high temperatures, humidity and noise made by the machines in factory may also affect the general health of the workers. Means agar ventilation proper nahi hai, aap jahan par bhi silk ki processing ho rahi hai, temperature high hai, humidity means moisture content bhaat zyada hai, aur jo machines wahan par chal rahi hai for the processing of silk, तो नॉइस करते हैं मीन शोर करते हैं तो उससे भी वर्कर्स जो वहां पर काम करने वाले हैं उनकी जनरल हेल्थ पर असर हो सकता है नाउ ऑल दिस वाज अबाउट द सेल सपोज यू हैव गिवन टू सैंपल्स वन इज प्योर सिल्क एंड वन इज आर्टिफिशियल सिल्क हाउ विल यू फाइंड आउट कि वेदर गिवन सैंपल ऑफ फैब्रिक इज प्योर सिल्क और not or artificial silk so one and only test is burn test means usko aapko burn test means aapko usko jalana hai so both the samples means ek by ek body mein ek sample ko hum ne jalaya dusri by way dusre sample ko jalaya so the type of burning which the sample is showing will prove that whether the given sample of the silk is pure or not so what we have to do is we have to burn the sample separately by bringing them near the flame carefully carefully means because uh, burning means jala rahe hain aag se aap aap bhi jal sakte hain to aapko ye jo bhi kaam karna hai bahut carefully karna hai if it burns slowly and curls away from the flame and ash is produced after burning with a bad smell it indicates that the thread is pure silk but if the thread burns with a flame and melts with a burning smell of plastic resulting in the formation of hard bead means ek moti jaisa ban jayega kada kada at the end of the thread so it indicates that it is artificial silk agar wo dheere dheere jalta hai curl ho jata hai away from the flame or ash produced hoti after burning with a bad smell so it wo pure silk hai aur agar वो मेल्ट हो जाता है मीन्स पिघल जाता है जैसे प्लास्टिक जलती है वैसे स्मेल आती है और एट द एंड ऑफ थ्रेड अगर एक हार्ड बीट बन जाता है मीन्स मोती जैसा बन जाता है तो इट इंडिकेट्स दैट इट इज आर्टिफिशियल सेल्फ सो स्टूडेंट्स दैट दिस वाज ऑल फॉर द चैप्टर थ्री होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैव अ नाइस टाइम विल मीट नेक्स्ट टाइम विद अ नेक्स्ट चैप्टर टिल देन कीप वॉचिंग keep studying all the best